I'm going to show you how to include a Leviton uh, Vizia RF Plus scene controller. It's a four button scene controller and this one has the internal load so you can use it to drive a switch. So when it's fresh out of the box here you can turn the load on and off with any one of the switches. So if it's like this it's pretty much fresh out of the box here. So I'm using a Vera Edge with the UI7 interface. So I'm going to go into the interface and I am going I'm in, in the devices area and I'm going to add a device and I will add a generic device I press the next button and it's telling me to get ready here if it needs assembly got to do it now so after I hit next it's going to be ready to do it so here it is waiting for me to add a device. So I go into here and on this device you hold the buttons 1 and 3 at the same time. It saw the load actually. See how it's blinking? So my viewer says there is a device detected. It's adding 166 on there. And I'm going to call this VRCS4. Okay. So it pretty much took the full 90 seconds. And this actually worked very well. It uh, Now you can see that it added the VRCS4A scene controller and it actually also included the appliance module which is built into that switch. So I can turn this on and off now and you can see that I'm able to control that appliance module with Vera. Now, the annoying thing about this is that you notice I can push any one of these buttons and it won't turn it on anymore. So you need to actually, uh, if you just create a scene, for that button it will it will turn it on and off. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go into uh, scenes and I'm going to add a scene and I'm going to select the device is the VRCS4A that I just added and when the scene is activated, and I want scene one because I'm going to assign it to the the first button. So if you put scene two, it would put it to the second button. So I'm going to validate that. Next step: select the device, and I'm going to select that appliance module that it added, included, when I included the VRCS4. And next. And validate that I want it to go on when I push the button when the scene is, scene one is activated. I say next step 
and I can I can ignore this for now and go back and peruse what that does for you later. And this is just uh, turn oops, turn on clients module. And I wouldn't normally call it appliance module, you know, but I'm just going to leave it that. You can name it whatever you'd like. That's where it is. And I can go over here. I should be able to push this button now. And it'll go on. And even though I didn't create a scene to turn it off, it knows to do that. So as long as that light is on, See, so the light is off, and you push it, the light will go on. And you have to actually wait until that light goes back on, and then when you push that one, it's the off part of that scene. So now I can turn it on and off. So now my load is connected back up to a switch, which is a good thing. So there you go, we've included the scene controller, we've modified it so now that the internal load can be controlled by the one switch, and uh, I think in an upcoming video I will talk about programming all those other switches with the other switches I have on my board here.